If you drop a light within the next 5 seconds, this will happen. If you don't, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. So leave a like right now. I'm doing a subscriber gifting spree where I'm giving away free skins, emotes, the battle pass, and more. So do you want free cosmetics from me? Then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications, drop a like on this video, and comment your Epic Games username right down below so you can be added. Now with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. The countdown has begun as we approach the next season with not much time left considering chapter 3 season 1 is almost over with only less than a month remaining or being almost 80% completed in terms of the season 1 progression. I know a lot of you came for a trailer which is only revealed later in this video. Despite the previous updates that's only carrying the season and the items we have that are benefiting its current state of the game. Items like the Spider-Man Mythics or Baby Combos and yet much more. Chapter 3 season 2 is on its approach but before we get to that we have so much to discuss leading up to it. Going over information regarding Chapter 3 Season 2, the live event and secrets revealed which you all want to stay in this video to not miss out on any part of that information, as well characters that have something to do with the season and that are in the loop in reality and the correlation of what's going on in the current world without any of us realizing. And without spoiling too much at this time, the 19.40 update may be the last update considering the last update will most likely be held on March 1st, just a few days from this video. And with that debuting soon, it will be one of the biggest updates we've seen in this season in terms of content. So be sure to not go anywhere as there's so much information that you want to know about right throughout the video as your eyes can only capture everything in real time. Don't click off because if you do, Bully Maguire might put some dirt in your eye for not caring about next season and the information about it. And speaking of information, not only talking about chapter 3 season 2, but getting free V-Bucks as it's a thing for every season. I send gifts and give away free V-Bucks. Now there would be an S amount of V-Buck coins in this video and if you can find where all the coins are in this video, I will give you a free code so be sure to tell me in the comments below on how many you see and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Before we get into today's video, there's only 65% of you that are not subscribed which also means you're missing out on receiving a free gift. To receive a gift, be sure to subscribe with all notifications, drop a like on this video, and comment your Epic Games username, and hey, you might be gifted privately or right on screen in my next video. Speaking of a free gift, could all of you use code JDYT in the item shop? This is a gift from you towards probably your favorite YouTuber, and it'll mean you're awesome if you are rocking the code. Congrats to you all on screen that's rocking the code. Now let's jump right into today's video. Alright, so I will be breaking everything down in terms of the trailer and what will happen, and everything all the way up to the next Fortnite season. For every season, the season will have an end date on to the Fortnite Battle Pass. And with the Battle Pass closing in on 100 tiers, bonus rewards, and much more, there are free rewards to claim right before the season ends and right before this Battle Pass roll out until we can actually get our hands on the next Fortnite Chapter 3 Battle Pass. And in terms of next season kicking off after the date this season ends, which is March 19th, which will be from a live event and straight into downtime, which will lead us into the next Fortnite season. This of course happened with going into Season 5 downtime after experiencing the Fortnite Galactic's event rolling into the Season 6 and then starting off with a solo live event that you all can be interactive with considering this was the first interactive live event that we all have and then there were more to come later throughout the chapter and then roll it into chapter 2 of season 8 we've also experienced a live event and then roll it into downtime which ended the chapter 2 saga and then starting a new beginning of chapter 3 and with the season ending on a Saturday which usually it never does but if a live event is in to take place then it happens however it's still in speculation considering there's not much details on a live event in terms of a countdown time to appear or where it may appear in game, typically we would know already. As we saw for the first time in this chapter, Epic Games may not end the season off with live events to kick off the next season. In Fortnite Season 5 there was no live event to occur but instead a live event trailer kicking off Season 6 and a solo live event experience to start the beginning of Chapter 2 Season 6. Not only to get that full interacting experience but to kick off a new primal era for what we were first introduced in Season 6, the Primitive Season. The Zero Crisis Finale, which happened to be the first live event to kick off a solo experience, is not the only live event like this that ever happened. As we saw at the end of Chapter 2 Season 7, the Skyfire event was interactive but I think that Primal Season ended up being better. And why we may or may not see another solo experience was due to the feedback we got in viewership and participants of both interacting live events, which only will determine the odds of seeing another one to kickstart Chapter 3 Season 2. Now in terms of the storyline and what's been happening inside the game when everyone was not watching, a live event is more likely to happen. Let's recap and then go move on forward. Last live event was in cinematic form and us defending the Finns, caretakers and the cube queen herself but that led us into another world of reality who will be fighting in the live event to kick off chapter 3 season 2. But also the live event was interactive to fend off oncoming enemies. That only led us into what's going on between The Rock and Dr. Sloan or should I say The Seven and The Imagined Order. That only sets it up for chapter 3 map changes as we got Grotto 2.0 which is Culver Cavern. 
the Devourer POI and earthquakes happening. With bosses from the live event at those POIs and potentially seeing the monster or cactus fighting the Foundation robot, considering that this build was inspired by the Mecha robot from Chapter 1 Season 9. Not only the loop repeating itself for history in terms of a timeline, but the Season 9 live event may have portrayed what will happen to Kickstarter Chapter 3 of Season 2. So far, as we roll along with each and every season, there are map changes to progress in terms of what can happen inside of the live event and the map changes that can correspond with it. Map changes are appearing before live events Well, we have earthquakes and the locations where it could happen. First, we got Tilted Towers after it being destroyed back in Chapter 1, then later it progressed through these changes, with not only it being covered in snow and then melting later to be revealed in a map update, but something may happen due to this image revealing the earthquakes and seismic activity that will occur in terms of the map progression. These extreme weather conditions were first introduced in this chapter, starting with tornadoes and lightning, but earthquakes are bound to happen now to change up gameplay flow and more map changes. As this has something to do with the future of what could happen in terms of map changes, which will correspond with future live events. That's not the only thing that involves the reality war later, but a point in time where Jonesy and the Foundation may have to reunite to have a plan for this live event upcoming before chapter 3 season 2.